this video is about the battery and you do not need to worry about the battery unless you are boondocking um, which means that you're not going to a campsite and you're not hooking up to the electric cable um, box down there um, so how to access the battery uh, because you do need to access the battery if you know that you're going to be uh, away and you're going to need to use the battery just untie um, it's just kind of crude but it's where you it's how you secure the strap and then pull this pull on this pull this back and that uh, loosen this up so once you have enough loose one-handed so once it's loose then slide this off to one side and then on the ends or on the you'll see that there is a push tab here push in push this tab in back up so you can see what I'm doing and then push it up to the tab same on the back there's a push tab see is there's a fuse box right here it's all hooked up it's all hooked up the way it should be this is a deep cell so it holds a lot more power than a regular battery um, here is your um, fuse it is a 30 amp so what you do is open this fuse holder right here by opening it like this and it does not matter um, left or right. Um, and then just slide it in here like this and push it down in there all the way in so it doesn't go in anymore. Make sure this is reattached completely. And then now you're ready to use the battery uh, for the pop-up. But what I would do is put this back on. I'd secure it in here in the front and back and I'd even put the strap on just in case you get a windy night or whatever and you don't lose the lid uh, like the wind catching the lid and that's how you turn on or use the battery um, when you're boondocking okay now it's time for the takedown I already have the canopy already rolled back up but basically you follow the um, how it went up in reverse make sure you separate those poles into the two different bags like you saw pull them out of the bags that's how you uh, put the and then, then into the blue bags and then once you are done with the blue bags the blue bags slide in here into the great big trunk area to the right that's where the poles go to that canopy okay now moving on to the first thing that you would do after uh, the canopy is rolled up and zipped up what you'll do is uh, take off your lights uh, they were plugged in as uh, you saw in the other video just unplug it leave this uh, just dangling right there so um, we can plug them in next time we use it. The lights themselves go right here into this container, uh, into the door uh, container, and then the remote also goes here. Okay, I'm trying to think. Um, so this is the full takedown video, except for the um, canopy, and uh, except for the stabilizers. The stabilizers are not uh, engaged right now just because I just set it up so I could do the takedown video. Now let's see. Um, I'll, I'll walk you around here. This is fully set up um, except for this. Uh, 
as you saw that these were attached over these the velcro in the other video um, i've already removed that from the post okay and make sure that if you have used the hot water make sure that you have turned the dial this is the point to where if it was on it was to right here you turn it to off and that's all you have to do to that okay another thing that you would do is make sure that you come to the tank with the hose attached come over it's on this side this time okay once you get to this one just turn it to the right clockwise and that will close um that will close the tank that's all you have to do there you don't have to remove the hose just close the tank okay Now, if you're at a um, campsite, um, you use your key. Um, let me show you which key this is. For the shower, it's the key 751. CH751, you see that? Um, this is the key that opens the shower. This is how you roll it back up, the shower head, and place it back in there. Uh, be careful not to yank on it too bad. Um, it is plastic. Um, it will bust if you yank on it too hard. Then make sure you lock this door so it doesn't come open while you're going down the road. Okay, and if you were at a campsite, this would be your hose to the terminal where you're getting water from the campsite, right here. And this would be your drain pipe. Let me undo this. Okay. And this is how you would normally... Hold on one second. Let me... It takes two hands here. I'll talk to you while I do it. I'm just undoing this so that you can see how to store it when in use. Okay. See, now that this lid... I've unscrewed it from here. And the lid from this drain... I unscrewed it from here. Now you'll watch that these two go together when in use. So this just screws right onto this. So I can get a frame there. All right, and you just let it hang there while you're using both. Remember the bucket is sitting underneath here to catch any, um, any water. You would dump that water next to a tree or whatever because it's only sink water. There is no black water. Black water meaning sewage. Um, it's gray water, what they call gray water, and that is uh, just fine to pour around trees or in grass or whatever. Now, to take your hose off of this, and if you were connected, you know, at a campsite, you would take your hose off and wind it up carefully and put it into the bucket that you've emptied that would would be right here um, and make sure to not leave the uh, water purifier the great big uh, white um, cylinder thing that's attached to the uh, water intake hose not here but to the campsite make sure you don't leave that or what's connected to the bottom of it which is the uh, water pressure regulator and it is a small uh, uh, copper thing connected to the bottom of it. So keep it all together. Don't take it apart. Leave it all connected to the hose. That way um, it's all together and no small missing parts later. Okay. So um, again, attach this. I'm going to put the phone down for a second so I can get a good attachment because you want to make sure that you tighten it but not too tight. Uh, the water uh, intake and then you want to tighten it but again not too tight for the drain remember the hose the hose from here to the campsite would uh, be drained make sure you drain it the hose and then put it into the uh, bucket that you had catching the water here after you've drained that 
Um, if you have been remote camping, so me meaning that you're not at a campsite and you had to fill this with water, um, before leaving the campsite, you will want to drain what water you have left. And that is this pipe right here. Again, this is only if you're not at a campsite and you've been remote camping. You can see the dial is underneath there. You twist it to the right and that will drain what water you do have left so that you're not having to carry a very heavy load because water carries a lot of weight. Okay, again, um, so an example of complete takedown. This is what I was giving the example of. Take these off, make sure to uh, reattach this just to um, so they don't get pinched when the pop-up comes down. Okay, let's go around and let's do all four of those. Remember this one is already done. Just let it hang there. Okay, coming around here, we'll take pull that off again. Reattach. All the way down, just let it hang, and just let it hang just like that. Okay, and the last one is here. This remember uh, the power cord to your lights, just let it hang next to there. That's right. Um, I know it doesn't look right, but it is right. That's how the outdoor lights are hooked up from the inside. Okay, and this is the last one of the post covers. Trying to keep in frame and do it at the same time. All right. And just let it hang. Okay, the next thing is the bottoms of the beds are Velcroed. Um, as you saw in the other video, you just pull it loose like this. Pull, um, pull it loose from the Velcro all the way down. And then uh, you do it on all three sides. You'll see that you remove the Velcro all the way down. Okay. Again, the Velcro all the way down. Pull that loose. Okay. Now come over here. This is already detached, but what would be what would be attached here is this little button right here. And this is a slide out, so you pull this button off of that button and then take this Velcro apart from here all the way down. The same on this side, remove the Velcro all the way down and there's another button on this side you have to remove. Okay, now for the king size, here's the king size bed right here. So you want to, again, I'll show you underneath That's the Velcro all the way around. You want to remove the Velcro from the bottom. Okay, once those are removed, then the next step is to, sorry, um, take down the, um, the stove. Okay, how to take down the stove, it's our, already hooked up. So what you do here is you press back on this while pulling the tip out like that. So again, press the outside of this back, like pressing it back like this. You can see that motion. And then this nipple will come out once you press back. Be sure to, this is on, this lever pointed this way is on. Make sure it's always pointed off when you're done cooking each time. Um, and when you, right before you're traveling and taking down. This lid gets pushed back in there. Good, so that it doesn't fall out. 
Now, in order to take the stove down, sorry, I'm out of breath, it's upside down. You want to, you see how it's connected into that groove and into that groove, as you saw when we first put it. Just raise it up gently out of this groove. Let that just stay there, it won't fall. But with one hand holding the stove, you're going to slide the stove towards the back of the pop-up, not toward the front because you'll hit this light. Uh, slide it to the back and use two hands, uh, one on each end, one here and one here. So I'm gonna do that now. You're going to be out of frame for a second. Okay, now I have removed it. And the well, one thing you want to make sure is that it's clean. Um, make sure you've cleaned the stove top inside. Uh, I can't, I should have showed you before. Um, but then remove this pole by just pulling up on it out of this. So there. I have the pole, the stove, and it's there. We'll take this into the pop-up for the next video. Okay, now I've come inside the pop-up. It's fully set up again. Um, so I'll show you. Um, we did just bring in the stove. That's the reason it's sitting right next to the sink over there. Um, but I wanted to show it to you fully set up before we take it down. Now, these curtains, they need to be stowed before you uh, pop down the pop-up. All curtains need to be fully down, except for the end curtains. For these ends, you just wrap them up into these um, Velcro straps. Uh, there's two Velcro straps for each end on these bunk ends. Okay, now uh, what we're going to do is the first thing to do is take down the table and I'm going to pause the video and um, put it on Okay, now it's time to take down the bedding. I mean the table, sorry. Uh, take the cushions off like this. Remember they're attached right here on the back with the Velcro as you can see right here and right here. You can keep them together just to make it easy for you like this and then slide them over on the king size bed. Again this one take it out and as you can see again they're attached one two okay just slide that over on the king size bed as well. Now it's time to take down the actual uh, table. So what we'll do is lay this part down, which is the rounded back. Again, this is the rounded back. You want to lay that down. Now take the table and gently lay it over here on its side onto the wood seat. Now you can see right here, these are just collapsible. Press in and collapse, fold in. Same right here is press in, collapse. Now there's Velcro to hold these legs up. So lean it towards you to hold it. So don't lean it against the fabric of the pop-up. It won't hold it. Okay, once that is Velcroed shut, what we'll do is We'll just go ahead and sit this down, and I'll show you why. I'll set it down here. I'll move the camera to show you where I sat it. And that's just for temporary. Um, temporarily, I just set it down on the floor next to the couch. Okay, now what I want to show you is the placement of the microwave and the uh, stove that we got from the outside and how that goes back in. Okay, we'll start with the stove. It's the hardest. 
The stove is probably fully self-contained. You see the hose on the end of it? Make sure the hose goes in first and then uh, slide it in. There is a groove right here at the bottom. This is a channel and then uh, this is a channel. Here's the groove. The groove will go into this channel. But what you want to make sure is that you do not hit this edge right here because it what it what will do it is it will take the wood facing off of this cabinet. So be very careful when you slide it on. So get the edge, paying attention to that wood edge here. You just slide it in and then push that hose on through so it's not out here and then this bar that was holding it up outside will slide right here on the back make sure the pointed ends are pointed away from the wood so that it doesn't scratch it in transit okay next is the microwave you will unplug it obviously you will take it and you will put the glass side of, sorry I'm jumping around here, you'll take the glass side and put it against the base or the back side of this seat right here. Alright, and now you uh, just place the power cord down here. Okay, now it's time to put the table back. I showed you where I sat it. Um, the table has a flat end trying to show you in the video and it has a uh, tapered in so the tapered in goes on the outside the flat end goes against the wall in the back the easiest way to do this is to slide it on one side in the groove and gently lay it down you will see that there's white two white stoppers to keep it from sliding off in transit Okay, that is um, that is that. Now let me do the cushions. The cushions go in upside down, not the way you took them out, but they'll go in upside down. And so how, what I mean by that is the bigger of the two will go into the corner sides. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Yeah. And then, let me turn it this way, so you can see the other one. Again, you put them in upside down, like this. The smaller back cushions go in the middle, and the bigger uh, bottom cushions goes on each end. Okay, now it's time to uh, adjust the camera, so you can see what I'm about to do. still rolling okay now we're going to take down the shepherd's hook the shepherd's hook um, is in a groove and so how you get it out of that groove is you gently slide it out without um, cutting the fabric which is right behind it so and then pull it out of the groove like this what you'll do with this is slide it in between the microwave and the stove the shepherd's hook and it'll slide right in between so now what you want to do is take this metal piece and let it slide and lay on top of the seats like this okay and so the canopy will just lay like that for now um, Okay, so now let's move on over to the porta potty. If you were using it, um, what you'll do is move it over to right there for now. Just get it out of the way. Now you'll 
It's time for it to remove the shepherd's hook on the king. Let me set up the tripod so you can see me do it. One second. So here is the, can you see that, um, here's where it is, but you'll be pressing in this button right here, the top button, as you pull down on the hook. So I can't hold this up and do this, so let me see if I can tuck this in so you can see me do it. Okay, pressing in this button, pulling it down, and then just letting the back fall towards you okay now this is a tricky part I'm gonna back the camera up so you can see what's what I mean by tricky is how you put this shepherd hook how do you store this shepherd hook the tricky part is you pick up this edge of the bed and make sure you don't hook the fabric and just gently sit it in the very front of uh, the king size, underneath the king size bed. Okay, now it's time to come over here. We're gonna do an example of letting down um, that curtain just so that you can see. So we have it up. Now, how you let down these curtains are, um, there is a push, there is a push thing that you push in right here, and then you don't let go of the push or it won't, it won't go down, but push in to like squeeze it with your fingers and go all the way down. And then with this, just unroll it gently. Once completely unrolled, it'll lay flat, and that is the way to store that. Now what we're going to do is come over here and do the shepherd's hook for the queen. Very similar to um, how we did the king size. Okay, so you hold down this button right here, the top button, and then pull down. So it pulls out and then gently let that fall onto the bed but the, again the shepherd's hook this one you will turn this way and raise the bed just like you did on the king and just sit it right in front not in the back or anything but in, inside the um, bed holder okay now the next thing to do is take the door down. Let's do that. Okay, this time I'm using a tripod, so hopefully I can capture a lot of it with this. Okay. So I'll come back and I'll adjust this in a second sure you can see what I'm doing okay here what you do is you have these four um, plastic things that uh, they hold the door in you make sure they're up and down there's two on each end at the bottom at, at the bottom of the door okay and now I'll adjust it so you can see the top Okay. Sure. Sorry for the camera movement here. Okay. Now for the top, what you'll do is you'll see these metal twist ties or uh, metal twist pins. Twist them to go up and down so that they'll go through that groove. As soon as you do that, you will see that 
this uh, canvas is attached to the outside of the door which is holding it on top of that you have these metal uh, these metal uh, wires that are going along this track here to put the door back in onto the roof into into the ceiling I mean okay so let me adjust the camera so that you can watch how this happens here make sure you can see I think you'll be able to see that. So what I'm going to do right now is take the door, the canvas, press out on both sides of the door and let the door come in. As I move my hands down, it'll get more and more disconnected and then you'll feel that the door is in your hands. You'll have the weight of it. Let the weight fall back onto the metal braces as you um, gently push it back along the track here okay as you push back on the track make sure not to um, hurt either side of the canvas what I like to do is put this on my head it's easier to get up that way um, hold up the valise and you will see a groove which this will sit back onto um, Move the camera so you can see that groove. Oh. Sorry, I thought it came out of the groove, but it didn't. Um, so this is the groove. I'll lift it up, and show you the groove again. So this is a groove that this fits onto. All right there. Sorry. And then there. See that groove. But on top of the groove, you have this little pin. You'll line this up to be even like this in that hole. This will, this, sorry, this will down here. I did it out of frame. So it'll be like this when it goes in. Push it up, twist that to hold it. Now what you'll do is you'll come and attach the, um, the stamps on this end. So hold on one second. Let me make sure. It's gonna be crooked, but all right. There we go. It's not heavy, I just grunted for no reason. And then snap it in like that. And then there's one on this side too. What you'll do is just snap that in as well. Okay, now the door is fully secured and you're done with that. The next move is to take the back of the couch down. Um, so let me show you here what I mean the back of the couch. Hold on one second. before the back of the couch what you'll do and I know I've been showing you how to take everything down but what I want to stress here is that um, you clean before you do this because you won't be able to clean after you've taken everything down so make sure that you clean um, all the surfaces with the Lysol wipes that we provide make sure that everything is um, wipe down um, again it's for your safety and for ours um, and that's the way you've received this pop-up and that's the way we ask that you return it um, is as clean as you found it um, okay the next thing to do here is I don't know I said the couch all right remember this is velcro just remove the velcro strap from the bottom of the couch on the two ends one on that end one on this end after you do that just sit your sit the back of the couch just like that 
on the floor. You don't have to do anything else to that. Now, if you have used, let me turn this, so you can see the sink. have used the sink make sure that all your water has been disconnected and you run you run your water and you've let your uh, water just uh, totally drip out on the outside um, and so at this point oh I also should have showed you this this is the drain it's a drain plug and you'll see at the bottom of the drain plug is a screw so just make sure that before you turn your sink upside down, that that's how you store it, is that you screw this into the bottom of the sink before you turn this upside down. And what I was saying before is if you have used the sink, there may be water inside the sink, make sure that you um, get something and to sop up that, that water. I noticed there was a little bit of water in the thing, so I paused to get a towel and to wipe out the excessive water inside the bowl. And as you turn it, you'll see a little bit of water come out of the drain, and you'll wipe that down too. You don't want any water to be dripping from this onto the floor while you're transporting it back. Okay, and then you just wipe this right here, just in case there's any water buildup. Okay. Now, once you set this, uh, that's how you store this. Um, that's how you store the sink. And it just sits just like that. All right, so now, let's see. The next thing is to move your um, porta potty to the door so that it's out of the way. Uh, and just move it to the door area here. just on the side all right so now this is my tripod <laughs> never mind that um, this is uh, the provided um, broom and dustpan so what I like to do is leave this broom and dustpan where you can find it so the d broom and dustpan will be sitting in the sink like this so be sure to take that out before you um, sit the um, sync up. Uh, okay. Sorry. Next thing is the outside. Um, to prep, I'm going to prep the queen and the king fabric on both ends before pulling them in from the inside. Let me pause. Okay, now we are prepping um, the ends before we uh, slide them in. So remember we've already disconnected the Velcro, but at this point in time we're going to take the canvas off the corners, just pull it up gently. Again, pull it up gently. Now what you'll do is take the canvas off the pole that's on the inside. Just gently pull that up on each end. You don't want the canvas to be under that pole. You want it to be on top. The back window, uh, the back window should be laying flat onto the bed itself. Just so you know how the canvas gets folded. This piece will just cover the edge of the brown. Okay. corners. Well, wait. Let's take the uh, braces down first. So, the braces, um, how you get to the braces is you just slide your back underneath, raise up gently, it's not heavy, um, and then let this, pull this out of the groove, and then pull this out of the bumper. Gently uh, lay it right here. And do the second one here. Gently raise it up out of the groove that is on the bottom of the bed. Pull this out. Now, 
tank. There's going to be two flat pieces and two bent pieces. Make sure they're aligned together. And then just hold up the bed and slide it in. Again, I'm holding the bed itself and just sliding in right to the edge. Okay, now it's time to fold. Make sure you're getting a good frame for the fold. That way you can see how I'm doing it. camera here. Okay, it's time for the fold. So what I like to do is, again, keep this window flat. Take the edge right here and just pull it in gently. Take this edge and pull this edge in gently. Now gently push this in. You'll raise up just a little bit and push forward. Okay? Raise up and push forward. Then it will go to where you see this uh, plastic piece here and go on the other side of that. Okay? So now let me do a close up so you can see the fold. Okay, I'll, sh I'll show you this on this side first. Okay, again, the window is flat. You're gonna hold this down. This is basically like wrapping a Christmas present. You wanna make sure that there are not many folds, but there are only um, very few folds. And how you do that is you fold this like this, make, make sure this corner stays in the corner but you fold this up at an angle so that the piece, so that this piece will fold in this angle. Okay? So that's how you fold that side. Let me do this side now. Make sure you can free. Okay. All right. Again, remember the corner covers the corner of the bed. And then this presses down. You'll make a fold in the side. And you'll pull that, again, keeping that corner in. And then just roll this up until you've got all of your uh, canvas up here. Okay. your canvas is in like this. All right, it's time for the king size. Okay, before we do the king size, the slide in goes before the king size bed gets slid in. So now it's a good time to, very simple. Remember, you had to unbutton and take these Velcro straps off both ends, button and velcro, then slide this gently. If you feel any hesitation as you're sliding it in, stop immediately because you may be breaking something on the inside. If there's any hesitation, stop, go around, walk inside the pop-up and see if there's anything that is hindering you from uh, pushing it all the way in. So it should go in very um, raise up the edges to look in to see if it is caught by anything. You want to make sure that these pieces do not fold in and get caught in between this piece and the outside of the pop-up. That's on both sides, so you want to lift these pieces up as you push in. So once you push in, there shouldn't be any fabric between um, this piece and the walls. Again, look down here. There's no fabric between this piece and the wall. So now what you want to do is pull the fabric out. And there's a reason for that. You don't want to stuff the fabric in just yet. Because when you slide the king size bed in, 
you don't want to catch this fabric and rip it with the bed rails that is the king size bed. So now let's move on to uh, the king size bed and how that slides in. Okay, now we're on the underneath the king size bed. What I wanted to show you was, let me make sure. You see the edge of the fabric here, similar to the other way. You take the edge, you gently pull up on it and uh, pull it off of this metal piece. You do the same thing to um, this edge as well. Gently pull it up off the metal and up and over. The next thing you do is um, gently pull this off of the metal piece that is at the top of this and then pull it off this corner again you don't want any piece underneath that metal uh, brace that's on the inside okay again you want this window to be flat on the bed so make sure it's flat and then this edge piece you want to come just over the brown piece all the way down. Okay, that's a good place to start. Now, let's show you the, uh, the legs and how the legs come off. Okay, you start with this piece that's going towards the corner. You lift your, uh, put your back underneath it and lift it just gently to take it out of this groove right here this out of that groove pull this piece down and then just sit the piece down and go and do the same pole on the other side just using your back again i know you can't see me but i'm doing the same thing i just did on that side taking this groove out of the groove that's on the bottom of the bed okay now that we have done that there is those two pieces removed. There are two other pieces. Let me show you the other one. There are two other pieces. Let me point them out to you. This piece right here and this piece right here. You leave those in until the bed is all the way pushed back in. Okay, so right now what you want to do is pull the fabric to the left, pull the fabric to the right, and gently start lifting and then push in and then take a break come and make sure that the fabric is not getting pinched or ripped as you're sliding this back in make sure the fabric is on top of the bed and not on either side make sure I'm in frame no I'm not Good thing I stopped. I mean, sorry about that, guys. All right. It's hard to do this at night. Sorry for poor lighting. I have a floodlight that I'm using to help. Um, all right. So. I'm going to do it from this angle so that you can see uh, how I'm doing that. And I'll place my floodlight so you can see more of what I'm doing. Okay. Now, as we gently push in, take it to about right there. What I like to do is go to the opening of the pop up and make sure that um, walk around, make sure that this king size bed is not ripping uh, that couch that we slid in. As you can see, it's already slid in. But we want to make sure that this bed is not connecting to that, which 
it's not. So that means we're doing it correctly. All right. Let me turn this over here again so that you can watch me slide that in. All right. Sorry, those two pieces I stepped on. Gently slide that in until it's all the way in. You'll know it's all the way in when you can see the white roller right here. Um, I don't know if you can see the white roller on this frame. Yeah, yeah, you can. All right, now is the time to remove these, these braces. How you remove these braces is put your hand right underneath this and lift up, and then just pull out, okay? You can sit this down while you do the other one. It's very simple. Again, put your hand underneath right here gently lift up and then pull the other one out okay place these together I'll hold it up so you can see place them together like this now very gently because this is where you could actually rip the bed accidentally um, place them like this in your hand and then raise the bed and slide these to where the bended end is the last thing in, not the first thing in. So you want to slide these together, not on top of each other, but um, twist them. Make sure the bent ends are right against this because it's the bent ends that will actually um, tear the bed. Okay. Next step is to get these two pieces that we took out. They're not set on the ground. Here are those two pieces. You gently place these into the very end of the bed here. Remember, how we do this is make sure your corner is covering and make sure this just covers the, um, the brown. The blue just barely covers the brown. Okay. I mean, see that corner here? That's all we're doing. Getting that in. I'm going to have to raise the camera so that you can see the fold. Let me see if I can. what I got here. All right. All right. I think that's good. Oh yeah. Let me readjust the spotlight. is the exact same way it's just a lot more fabric so again you make sure that the the window is flat okay take your corner of the window right here lay it flat and then bring the top of the side over remember how we did it before was we make a fold on the edge and this one's going to be a lot more of a fold Sorry for the helicopter again. Okay, it's passed. All right, once this is folded down, hold your corner here, create your fold from the top down. Hold your corner in here and then fold this over like this. Just like that, you folded your corner. Okay, I'm gonna turn this so you can see this corner as I do this corner. All right, 
adjust this spotlight. Remember, take your corner over the bed, take your corner of the window, press it down to be against the bed because the window lays flat. Once that is pulled down, make your fold of the wall, the side wall here. Okay, make your fold like this. Keeping your window flat, you'll find your fold here. All right, once you find your fold, keep it flat like that and fold in at an angle because if you don't fold in at an angle, the piece down here will not go down, will not be inside the pop-up once you take the pop-up down. All right, that's the king size in. Let's go around, I'll show you what it looks like once. The king has been um, inside. You see that it will go along the back side of that uh, of the couch, but it will not touch the couch because I forgot to say the cushion needs to come a little bit this way. That way, that groove down there, um, as you can see, let me zoom in. That groove will go in between the cushion and um, the wall of the dinette. All right, so let me pause this video and move on to our next section. Okay, now we are on the side of the, the slide out as we did earlier, but I'm going to show you how to fold that fabric in. So let me get back up a little. So you can see the slide outs right here. All right, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna show you. See how this fabric is coming out like this is a fold? It just naturally does that. What you'll do is actually push it inwards. And then push this. Just gently push it in. It won't, um, it won't stay in, but what it, what you're trying to do is prep it and getting it ready for when the um, top comes down. You want to make sure everything is in a good spot. Okay, now that we've done that, um, let's remove uh, power. Let me show you how to do that. So say you're at a campsite and you're removing power. Um, I'll put that, put that in frame here. Okay. You will unplug from the power outlet. You will hear a beeping sound inside the pop-up. That's just telling you that it's lost power. Um, currently, I have a 110 uh, adapter so just so that I can plug it in at home. Um, and I will include that just in case you do have a just a regular 110 outlet that you can plug into somewhere uh, instead of a 30 amp, which you should have if you're at a campsite, 30 amp. And this is what a 30 amp plug looks like. Um, it has uh, one point here and two at an angle. That's what 30 amp looks like. Okay, as you're placing this back in, hold the lid up and then just uh, push this in. Sometimes it's difficult, just keep pushing. Um, it all depends on how it's folding inside of the chamber in there. So just keep pushing that in there. So it's all the way in, and then at the very end, you press this in, not all the way in, just inside the lip right here. Do not place it all the way in, because then it'd be really hard to get back out. Take this, what I like to do is open that hatch, 
um, just move that out of the way. Hear it clip when you just hit it like that. And then just press this down and you're fully closed. Okay. I think uh, once you have this stored in there and it clips shut, you'll hear that click when you shut it. Don't forget to move this back down um, so that when you're uh, winding the pop-up down, it does not get caught in it. Okay, it's time for the wind down. Let me start that video. Okay, now it's time for the wind down. This is a latch right here. Turn it counterclockwise, pull the latch open, make sure it stays on all the way open or else you'll hit it. So to get the latch, it's on the door on this side. I'll hold the door open so you can see. It's the largest one. So move this out of the way, pull this up, and then it's okay to leave this door open while um, the pop-up's coming down. Okay, this is square. There's a square tube in here. This is slides all the way into the square tube. And then you go counterclockwise. So what I like to do is uh, go about halfway. As you can see, the uh, fabric is falling out and these, um, these covers are falling out as well. So you gently just push in on the walls. Um, this metal piece you'll push into. Um, there's several things on this corner. That's the reason I'm filming on this corner. The electric cable uh, for the lights and then the cover. You'll just put all, the, all three of those on this side of the post. Come by. Uh, so you don't do what I just did. Raise this up stool or the step stool and slide that in. Now push in on the corners, come around the front and push in on the front as well. Walking around the whole pop-up Pushing the pieces in as you walk around the pop-up to make sure that all of them are in their spot. There's a power cable on the back left side. Just tuck that in. Again, mainly your corners, but you want to make sure that everything else is tucked. Then lower it down. Get to about three quarters of the way down. Like right here. Now what you'll do is you'll do the same thing. You keep tucking everything in away from the edges as you walk around. All the way around, walk around. Keep tucking in everything, making sure that you don't didn't leave any part of the fabric canvas out. Walk around the whole pop-up. Get all the way down. Now it's time to take it towards almost all the way down. But not all the way down. You want to leave it about that distance um, because this is the last tuck. If you don't do this, you may uh, get the fabric caught. And you don't want to do that because it will actually rip the fabric. So keep, uh, just keep tucking in all the way down. Focus in on your corners, pushing all the way pushing the fabric back in.
Okay. Everything's tucked in last time. Now, here's key. When you get down, you don't, this does not apply pressure. It does not squeeze it shut. All, it, all this does is let it fall. So as soon as you see it not falling anymore, stop right away. You'll do a half turn and then pull it out. Notice it's not going down anymore. I did a half turn and just pull it out. Place this cable, this switch back into the door as you found it. Take the door, shut the door. Use your keys to lock the door. Um, and now it's time to do the latching. I'll take you off. Okay, now it's time to close this door and twist it to the right to lock it. These, leave this handle down and go up. You'll catch that. And then just pull and just push this up to that. Okay, there's two on this side. Again, leave this bottom down. That'll slide up over that ledge. And then just pull this down. Checking to make sure there's no fabric that got out in that last push. Here's a little bit of fabric. There, see, this is the problem. I'm glad you saw that on the video because you don't ever want to do that. So I'm going to unlatch. Unlatch. I should have told you to do it. I normally do is once it's fully down, look for any fabric along the edge. And that's what I did not do. Um, so you can gently raise this corner with your fingers and push this back in so that now all I did was uh, raise here with two hands and then just tuck this back in. So now let's start with the three on this side. There's one for the front. Uh, then the slide out has two by themselves. Sorry, this is gonna go down. I'm getting that lip right there. Sorry, making sure I caught the lip. There you go. I don't know why I wasn't catching it before, but there it is. Uh, make sure you catch the lip. If you don't, it's not going to latch. Sink down. And then... And then the last one right here. Okay. Now, if... Um, forgot to mention that you need to take these up on all four corners you could take those up at any point in time and that's with this winch right here this winch is what you use the black one inside the door it slides over the end piece right here to crank right goes down crank left goes up um, and do not over crank them they're just meant for stabilizers not leveling you will actually um, use these leveling blocks right here under the tires if one side of the pop-up is too high or too low and you can tell by these two levels okay and this is the inside of the trunk area that's the hose that i was telling you about the filter and the pressure uh, um, water pressure and there's a lot of chalks right there. We call them chalks or pieces of wood that you can place underneath these stabilizers when you extend or underneath the um, hitch to um, keep, uh, bring up the front end. Okay, make sure you have turned off your uh, gas line. I think I mentioned that already, but I just wanted to say it again. Uh, when you hook up your tow vehicle, Make sure to put all the wood and this piece that comes off back into the trunk area and it goes 
right in there next to the step stool. Okay, and then the last and final thing is to take your keys. This is your key set. Take the cylinder key and place them in here and then twist to the right. And what that does is that locks them. And there's one, two, three cylinders to lock the trunk. All right, hope that was enough information um, on how to uh, take this pop-up down. And if you have any more questions, please re-watch the videos. Um, and if that doesn't answer your questions, please uh, give me a text message and um, I will get back with you on any issues you might be having that I did not cover. All right. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Have fun camping. Bye-bye.